Hey, how's it going? I'm Zero. I'm DK. And I'm Rizzo. And this time on Anime Reaction, we watch the 12th and, and final episode of Maho Shoujo Ikusei Keikaku. If you want to check out our reaction to the 12th and final episode of the Magical Girl Raising Project, hit that link in the description below. And be sure to give us feedback in the comments section because we love hearing from you. And as always, if you like what you see, subscribe to Otaku Saga. And don't forget to like and share our videos. And, and thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. So, on this episode <sighs> of the Magical Girl Raising Project, it, we actually got a non downer ending. For once. Holy shit. It was, it was a good ending. I like that. Yeah. I thought it was a really, really good ending. <laughs> so, Let's jump to it. yeah, so in the episode, we see Snow White moping. Of course. And I mean, then, who wouldn't? Yeah, right. who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? Honestly, I was kind of expecting the moping like a few episodes ago. Or yeah, I was like expecting... the, well, just last week, I was kind of expecting that to or, kind of... I was expecting more mo more moping after the death of Lapusella and also uh, Hardcore Alice. I was expecting Snow White to mope a little bit more. Hmm. But she doesn't start moping until after Rebel basically declares that she wants to kill Swim Swim. Which is, that's kind of the start of picks the candles back. Yeah. But, it, yeah, but then she starts recounting the entire, more or less, uh, well, the, the whole project. But Fav opens up and basically tells her all about, you know, the masters and what's been going down with the uh, selection process and, you know, the fact that Cranberry was the master. And also, he, he mentions that... Uh, not only was Cranberry the master, this also isn't the first selection process that she's done either. She just ends up killing everybody in the other selection processes. Which, uh, as Fav puts it, is um, a little troubling to him as well. But, so, basically Fav opens up because Fav doesn't want Swim Swim as the master. Because Swim Swim is fucking crazy. Well, both Swim Swim and Ripple are, you know, not as nearly as mentally damaged as Snow White is. So, well, if anything, the, he wants a blank slate to work with, I think. No, it's... Yeah, it, it's the fact that uh, both Swim Swim and Ripple have personality issues that make them not a good person to work with. And whereas, uh, even though, you know, even though Snow White is a little messed up... It wouldn't be after this. Uh, yeah, especially after that. She she would probably eventually make a much better master. Actually, it was almost exactly like uh, Cranberry from the flashback that we saw earlier in the series. You know, she's kind of a sort of shy, underpowered magical girl. Then, uh, yeah, she killed, um, she passes the first magical girl raising project and then just snaps and becomes a cold blooded killer. Well, yeah, I imagine that if, if Swim Swim had one, she would probably turn into the exact same type of master that Cranberry is. And probably the same thing with Ripple. Oh, if, if Swim Swim had, beat, uh, had beaten Ripple, then that probably would have forced Snow White to become the same kind of person as well. Yeah, maybe. Maybe she just gets so tired of it, then she but, snaps. But yeah, um, Basically, Fav tells Snow White, well, tells Koyuki, I should say, because she's not transformed. But Fav tells Koyuki that, um, you know, she should just sit it out and. So, yeah, let those two kill each other off. Let those two kill each other off, and if she lets them kill each other, then she'll become the master by default and win without turning her own hands. Which Fav admires. Which Fav admires, but Snow White basically goes, you know what? No. Fuck this! I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go stop their fight, and you know, and we're going to, I guess, uh, confront Fob together or whatever. So she she transforms and gets ready to leave. And then what was it that Fob said to her that made her snap and destroy her little magical film thing? It was it was the uh, the without soiling your hands. Oh yeah, yeah become a master without soiling your own hands and basically she just snaps and snaps, snaps. her phone. <laughs> I actually thought that she was going to lose her powers right then and there. I kind of thought that too actually but uh, it's, yeah. it's just a device that's all it is. Yeah I was a little surprised at that. I'm surprised I'm surprised the thing broke. Yeah. But actually uh, did a nice job in kind of reinforcing uh, 
uh, plot point we'll get to a little later. But all this time is interspersed with uh, scenes from the fight between Swim Swim and Ripple. Which was a very awesome fight. It was a really good fight. I really like that one scene where Ripple launches two shuriken through her and you see like uh, like splashes of water kind of trailing from Swim Swim's eyes. Kind of like, I don't know, like big sea foamy eyelids. But it looked really cool. Then they pass through conjoined and then a bolt of lightning hits him and hits Swim Swim by extension. Fucking badass. Yeah. I don't quite I'm, understand how they got conjoined. But well mm. I think she turned them into water. So and that then, they could pa- and so that they could pass through her. I thought she turned it into water. Well, so did I originally, but mm. they very clearly got turned to water and they somehow conjoined I guess the molecules that made them up. Also, uh, probably one of the best uh, unplanned, but should be played off as if it was totally planned trick shots of, the, of this anime season. Right. But I don't think that the lightning actually hit her. I just think that it was the bright flash of light that, that upset her powers. Oh, okay. Because I was thinking, well, if she transform, if she transformed into water to allow the shuriken to pass through her, it hit the shuriken, then it hit her. Yeah, I just don't think that uh, she got hit because there probably it would probably be a little bit more significant than what actually happened. She just kind of got knocked nice. back. Light sound. All right, the cleaning sense. But damn, I gotta say it's one hell of a flashbang. Right. Knock your ass out with that shit. Yeah. Kill your ass with that shit. Nope. Or knock out. It was just knock out. Yeah, she got knocked out. Uh, but yeah. Um, right. I, I keep seeing. Her, like, yeah, during the fight, Ripple gets her left arm like chopped off about there, and then gets her left eye slashed. Yeah. So for a second there, uh, with uh, Swimsum just being knocked out, it kind of equated to uh, not being transformed with death again. Even though, yeah, it's not the case. Anyway, sorry, carry on. Um, but yeah, Ripple ends up throwing a flashbang in uh, Swim Swim's face. She gets knocked back, untransforms, and Ripple just. <laughs> <laughs> this is for top speed. So satisfying. So satisfying. As grotesque as that is to say about a little girl. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, stabbing, stabbing an elementary school girl. I don't know, so I mean. So satisfying. It was the right outcome, but I liked how they portrayed. How much of a fear victory it was for Ripple. She she just did it just to get it over with, and just you get that long, uh, you get that shot from below, kind of looking up at her, and she's it like it's like all her features are were like elongated, especially her face looking upward, but it's downcast at the same time. So yeah, the whole a real just sense of emptiness uh, that she actually achieved her revenge. So that was uh, quite powerful. Yeah, I did too. I said there's a lot of things about this episode I really liked. They kept the moping short. You knew it was coming at one point in the series, but to do it here and then kind of gloss over, I think was a good move instead of having it be like half an episode or a longer scene than it was. You know, the fight obviously was really good. You had that uh, that little victory scene also. And then now I'm getting to the uh, actual ending itself the best part yeah. um, but so after she kills Swim Swim Ripple ends up passing out probably from shock shock and blood loss yeah shock and blood loss and then Snow White shows up damn it I'm too late yeah. bloody hell and uh, apparently even even Fav thought that Ripple was dead but a little bit of research just the tiniest bit of research into what Ripple <laughs> into Ripple's status at the moment. Hey, you. Breathing. She has a pulse. pulse. Bob would know this. Bob should know this. Bob should know. Yeah. He but maybe Bob was like, "Oh yeah, she's gonna die anyway. Like, there's no, you know, there's no chance to save her or whatever." But there is. Well, I mean, I guess. Especially if Fav told, you know, made it out to Snow White as if uh, Ripple was, 
you know, gone, then Snow White wouldn't go and check on her. Right. And therefore... She should just stay home and she wins the... Well, no, no, not that. Dead. After she's already there. If Fav tells tells Snow White that they're both dead, right. then Snow White won't go and save Ripple, and then Ripple will die with the loss anyway. Eventually. So maybe that was his reasoning there. But basically, uh, Fav pops out of the Master's device, which is an actual like device from the magical world. And... Uh, Says, yeah, know, basically I'm, says that he says to Snow White that well she wins. Congratulations! And I'm sure if there were uh, oh and, and the fanfare music after that <laughs> scene. <laughs> so we got we got Snow White showing up, looking at the dead bodies and like crying over Ripple, and then you hear da 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 da. <laughs> Congratulations, Pawn, Pawn, Pawn. Yeah, but and then uh, and then Fav decides to. Basically, backhand the deaths of everybody. Everybody, everyone. or at least she starts to. And so she gets to one name in particular. Well, she she starts off with uh, what was it, Lapusella and Hardcore Alice. Hardcore Alice, which was the friends of Snow right. White, and I'm pretty sure that she did this just to piss off Snow White. Oh yeah. Um, and then she gets to top speed. While all this is happening, Snow White is beating the master, uh... Well, yeah, she's trying to break the master, uh, master thing, device. because she hears with her power that, you know, Fob's in her voice saying, oh, if you destroy this, it'll be bad news. So she's trying to destroy it, she... She uh, stomps on it, she throws it, she beats it with boulders. She eventually starts beating it with her hand and like bloodies up her her own hand. My hand just hurts to think of it. Yeah, my hand hurt just like watching that. And then, um, yeah, she gets to top speed and while she's talking, it shows uh, Ripple laying on the ground untransformed and her fingers start twitching. She, yeah, for all the knowledge that Fav has and all the magical girls, I'm actually quite surprised that he didn't take into account, I don't know, the fucking rabbit's foot that Snow White had for most of the series? Well, technically, when he was talking right there, he didn't really take into account the spear either. Hmm. Until, you know, Ripple stood up with the spear, started walking towards him. And then he, oh, he realizes, oh wait, okay. this is a weapon actually from the magical Magical world. world. That could actually do some damage to, to this device. Shit. Oh shit! Oh, oh shit. shit! Oh shit! shit. <laughs> Which we hear basically in the background, uh, you know, with uh, Snow White's power. So <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! And so oh, Bob, God, yeah, shit. Bob's trying to <laughs> talk his way out of it, and Ripple's just. And then we see, we hear Fop panicking internally through <laughs> Snow White. It's just... Oh. It's so satisfying. That is great. And then Snow White tells her, don't listen to him. She turns the spear around and Death. slices <gasps> the device in half and kills Fop. So satisfying. I know. I, I I mean, it may, it may not be one of the most... Well, I don't know, like, ever... But as a satisfying death in anime, it's up there. Um, Top ten, at least. That, that was that was nice to watch. Yeah. But then it zooms forward six months, and we see you know the normal normal world. We see Koyuki's friends talking. Um, basically, the the little app had gotten shut down. Um, there's still sightings of of magical girls, specifically yeah. a white magical girl. And a magical girl in a cave. But more or less, the fads kind of died out. Yeah. So. Um, And then it's revealed that Kayuki ran away from home. And her friends don't know where she is. And then all the time we're seeing seeing news stories about how a white... a, A magical girl in white has stopped terrorist organizations and murderers and... Forced, uh, Terror. forced yeah. women to surrender. Yeah. <laughs> big things. Uh, yeah, like really big things. 
Which is exactly what I kind of expected uh, if she were to win. Hmm. And then uh, it shows uh, Kuyuki coming back to where Ripple is. And basically they're, they're a team of magical girls in the city now. And um, they have, they have a little them. sparring match. I assume it's uh, Snow White trying to increase her abilities. Yeah, trying to improve as a fighter. Yeah, trying to improve as a fighter. She sucks as a fighter and keeps getting shot. But it's not like that doesn't really affect her. Three bullets at me, I'm too weak. Yeah, I got shot three times. I'm too weak. I, lo- I love how uh, much of a jaded professional uh, they actually become, or both of them become. Yeah. In that little ending scene, so. And Ripple looks really badass with that face scar. I know. Well, you got the face scar, and then yeah, you still got top speeds. Uh, I guess Gakuron's like okay. Oh no, it's not the uh, same uh, Gakuron anymore. It's just a cape now. I'm not sure. I think she turned it into like a you know a one arm cape to cover mm-hmm. up her uh, missing appendage. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if it actually is a missing. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is, but it didn't outright show it. Well, but I think I'm, the magical world would be able to look like Luke Skywalker or something. Right. I don't know. Auto mail. It, it, the uh, the animation was certainly weird. I would have to go back and look at the details. Yeah, I'd actually uh, have to go back and look for it specifically. But she also has that, like, kind of, uh, oh, what is it called? A detached sleeve. She has a detached sleeve that kind of goes over the missing appendage anyway. So it's really hard to tell. And having that, it, it was, they were able to uh, cut some of the gore somewhere. I need a little bit. Eh, whatever. I still love the way that uh, Ripple won. <laughs> I'm going to splash blood in your eye. With from my severed arm. The with, arm that you cut off. From the arm that you cut off. And then I'm going to hit you with a flashbang. Light right here. and sound. <laughs> 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 nice. N- nice veiled reference there. Yes. Um, very, uh, yeah, very, uh, very satisfying uh, ending. Yeah, it was, all the shit it was so there, surprisingly... This an upper ending like I did not expect it at all I know I was expecting like some bullshit technicality to result in both Snow White and Ripple dying I was yeah I was either expecting that or expecting Snow White to live but have to live with the fact Mm. that you know all those people died actually oh man that's a good one like imagine Fog dies and you know, both of them like lose their magical powers. Well, a magical girl, when they when a magical girl loses her powers, right. she is dead. That could have happened. It could have happened. Yeah. Again, the bullshit technicality. Yep. I kind of like a, a your original theory, Rizzo. There, um, Snow White just surviving it all, but it's like just maybe like catatonic, or she totally snaps and just decides to end everything. Well, Something, to be huh? completely honest, that was my prediction at the beginning of the season. Mm-hmm. I I honestly expected either her to be forced to have to kill a bunch of people, yeah, or for her to just survive it and have to live with that fact. Yeah, something similar to that was my initial prediction, uh, especially uh, before I realized that the uh, girl in the flash back uh, was exactly that, and not uh, Snow White in a flash forward. Yeah. So. Um. And then, uh, you know, also have to keep in mind that there are more novels from this series. Oh, okay. Which mean that the other novels probably follow Ripple and Snow White doing other things, too. And since the magical world is still intact, odds are there could be another magical world raising project in the future. Though, hopefully, and more than likely, uh, that nearly is homicidal. Well, if Snow White's in charge of it, it won't. As homicidal. Yeah, yeah. That's because as Fav said, they're not always homicidal. Um, if it's a good person, maybe they'll just have people who do good deeds and the best person gets yeah. Or another one that's common is what we saw in, uh, what we actually saw in uh, uh, Cranberry's original one, which is uh, all the magical girls have to dispatch the, those creatures from the magical world. Yeah. And you know, the best one, the best person from that gets to keep their powers. But also the fact that in most 
uh, Magical Girl Raising Projects. The losers don't die, they just lose their memories. Yeah, this was just, it was just uh, yeah. Cranberry's a homicidal bitch. Because I was five. Well, there you go. Cranberry got um, Tomad. I'm gonna call the explosive deaths that now. <laughs> so first, yeah, you get run over. If you're a girl, you get run over by a truck. You get heoried. If you get, you know, a crater where your stomach used to be, you got tamad. Anyway, Damn. Saitama. There's nothing left. <laughs> that would be a crater where your everything was. Where your city was. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just want to point out Tama and Saitama. There is a difference. A slight, actually. Tama, daughter of Saitama? Mm, no. no. <laughs> One touch, really. One scratch. <laughs> One scratch. <laughs> That's all it takes. Yeah, pretty much. Damn. Ooh, damn. Uh, anyway, this was That's a very, kind of very good Dark Magical Girl series. Uh, I wanted to say, you know, because the series does get compared to... Uh, Monica Magica so much. I like the ending of this one a lot better because Fav gets his comeuppance. Yeah, and where, where Kube is just, you know, a Q pan dimensional well, yeah, being. Kube and its people. Its clones or. Its clones, what, whatever they really are. Yeah, they continue doing whatever the hell they're doing. Yeah. They just run the shows in the shadows, but uh, yeah. See, you know, the see Fav uh, actually, you know. Get, his. get it, <laughs> and you know, just to see that little, you know, that uh, fear, and there's oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, that whole time. Again, one of the most satisfying deaths I've seen in an anime, uh, definitely in a long time. Yeah, it was a super satisfying ending, and I love it. Pun. I still wish a few more girls would have made it. Yeah, mm. I, I kind of do too, uh, but. There are a lot of characters here that I really liked. Oh, very much so. But, oh well. Yeah. We're looking forward to see if this gets a season two. Oh, I, I would, I would uh, actually be quite nipple. interested to see what happens in the later books. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind uh, just seeing, um, just seeing uh, Snow White and Ripple uh, just go through their everyday activities as well, legit magic I'm thinking, girls. I'm thinking coming up, especially with the... Um, they were talking about getting a mail from the uh, from the magical world. Getting an email oh, okay. from the magical world, so I imagine they have to do. They have magical world duties to take care. Of. Yeah, it'd be nice to see. But details, details. Yes. Anyway, give us more. Yes. So uh, definitely love the series. But Great series, yeah. Uh, I was actually quite surprised. This turned out to be one of my favorites of the season. Yeah. And especially since we almost didn't watch it. <laughs> right. right. But uh yeah, so let us know what you thought of the anime, what you thought of our reaction in the comment section below. Yep, thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you like it. But that's gonna do it for this extremely bloody series on anime reaction. I'm DK. I'm Zero. And I'm Rizzo. See, See you next, next time. Fun. 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 And go ahead and click on my face to go to our most recent Otaku Sign Talks. Click on my face to go to Otaku Saga Gaming, our gaming channel. And click on the white food to subscribe to Otaku Saga and check out our new and improved Patreon page. Oh. Pwned. <laughs>